Alrighty, let's play this in full here. There is no sound. We have that going on here. Takes out the mouse. Cool. So let me just check something here. You're going outside of the frame. I guess I can, I can bring this in more. So I'll be careful. Um, we have a fairly, I would try to go, I don't know this is very subjective, but I would probably go, um, you know, all the way out in your framing to do a full 720p, 1080p, whatever resolution you need, but um, just a bit more widescreen. I think and then that way, at least to me, you can, you can fit in more of the tail. You might just also have to zoom out just a bit more in general. So that maybe I'm not sure if you want to cut this off. It might be okay to see the whole thing. So if I go down, you can see there's the whole thing here. Um, that'd be kind of. I just feel so squished. I guess I'm not used to such a more old, more old school kind of framing. I'm so used to so such widescreen shots. If I look at his arc, also just checking here, if he goes like this. It's a slight feeling of a fairly fast dip, and I feel like if you would give this a proper arc, just a bit... Yeah, there's something where it feels like it goes pretty wide and then just kind of drops down. So if you do a wider arc, it doesn't kind of make it too, you know, straight down towards the end. Then, actually, it would be good for you to go full widescreen, and he would start here, if that makes sense, right? He would be more like this, and then you can always leave the end position. So maybe just globally on the like a control letter you have that moves the whole character, move the character over so that all of this is for the left. And then during this jump, you can animate that main controller back to this position until he hits this here to give this a wider arc. Kind of like an animation layer, it's kind of as a cheat, I guess. Other than that, I think the back and forth between the characters is okay in terms of timing. Uh, it's fairly clear where we're supposed to look. I feel like takes this out, moves this and looks up. It's almost like I'm looking. I'm looking at him. Takes this out, puts it down. He goes back. Now that he looks at him, I feel like my eye goes over here. I don't want to see a reaction. Is he going to go? Good job. Thumbs up. Paw up. Paw down. Whatever it is. But then we cut out. And I feel like you could add another second or two, however long you need, for whatever reaction. So it could be, you know, could be another nod, it could be squint, I don't know if you can smile, I don't know if this what kind of facial controls this rig has. But that could be something interesting, potentially. Other than that, I mean, it still feels very early stage. If I look at uh, what the fox is doing in terms of, you know, simple moves going down, cut off here where not much is moving in terms of the rest of the body and the mechanics, kind of harsh hits, it's fairly pose to pose, it all seems very early days. So I would just say keep going on that, getting a bit more, you know, overall body mechanics going on their movements, there could be a little bit of a weight shift, you know, slight keep alive on the tail, just make it less static, like, you know, something like this, where it's just clearly just a rotation through there and then nothing else is going on here. On the human side, same thing, you know, if you have, if I scrub through this, you can see how it's purely just the head. So you want to add a few more mechanics to involve, you know, fanning out a rest. So, I mean, not that this head move will influence everything all the way down to the legs, but he is on his toes. It's not like it's a very stable position. Uh, Pose-wise, I will probably try... It's interesting, I will probably offset those legs a bit more to maybe find a way to get these guys here and maybe this guy further out, if that's possible. Or you go this one and this one further out here or lower. There's something where this foot, how it comes down, kind of aligns with with the thigh. And then it's a bit twinny. Even though this is spread out, it feels like these guys are too mirrored. That overlap, I'm not super smitten by in terms of silhouette. See, even this to me seems better. But you can bring them out so that maybe this foot will be here. Giving you something like this so that we can potentially even see the toe of this. I would just kind of look at the silhouette. You might be going a bit too low on the knee. I know it's a bit tricky, but you might just have to bring up the butt so that he has a bit more of a curvature like this. 
to get into that because right now we're getting really low and not popping that Achilles heel. I mean, not even the foot roll is going to save this. So I think when you go like this, instead of bring the whole thing down, we can bring a line of action in the body more like that. As you go back, don't forget, if you have something like this where that arm goes up, you have to think about weight shifts. If I loosen the, the uh, you know, the lean on that arm, it, your chest is going to drop this way because that position is not there. So if you want to, don't want to do that in terms of the drop, obviously, you would have to move your translate, uh, your root and move that position over. There's more weight on this shoulder. So you're going to have a little bit of a dip there, shoulder up, potentially a straight arm. And this arm does its thing and even that root uh, part of the pelvis will move over there with a slight change because of that rotation down here is going to affect this all the way down changing with uh, potentially the knee position so as you go back you know even on something like this so it's not just a flat move back this is all going to affect the rest of the body there and then on your jump you have to look at well how is he jumping because it's slightly strange to go all the way up here already where it's not going to be just the back leg. So to me, it feels like it's going to be a push off using everything here. So you go off and this would be shoulder down, arms down as much as you can. And then a push off using the legs, meaning that you want to not, I would not move this foot back here. Just get full compression on this so that it stays put full extension, full extension on those legs almost full extension and then you can slowly get into your bendy part there one thing i'm wondering since we're all already in still in early stages since you are going widescreen so what if you move the whole guy over here so the tail is still cut off but it would be here so maybe the head would be here in my fantastic drawing right that's the guy and then you would have the stone would maybe end up here potentially right so if we go this far over this far over and because we have that much more room what if we move this character globally more profile so that we have less overlap because i'm looking at this here too where we have all those somewhat parallel lines and tangents and it is not as clean silhouette wise and i wonder if we're going profile if we can just make this just a bit cleaner you know, you move him, like I said, all over here. So he's a bit there. Might be slightly off balance because they're so far on the edge. I will get that, but... You might have to maybe scale him down so he's not as big. I'm just trying to find ways for you, A, to fit this, A, to have a nicer arc, but then also silhouette-wise make it work so that we're not so, so messy here. Also, timing-wise, watch out. You're really shooting up, and then it kind of slows down a lot through there. So that momentum there suddenly stops. So you might have to go not as high, not as fast, to give this a nicer hang time through here, and a nice acceleration into the drop there. It was also a bit slow motion through there. And then there's some technical thing. You know, he's stuck in that snow, so you really have to lock this part and you can move the rest here but i will be careful with that much moving it can be it feels like you want to bam, do this and then almost have leg movements first and this is all kind of locked and then maybe you start moving arms for him to get out and then the body can move and it could be a bit of an interesting move out of the snow there for this All right, I'm going to leave it at that. That's lots of notes. Um, you will know the scene better. You can, you can kind of see what you can do with the camera or positioning of these guys just to give this a bit more, uh, just a cleaner silhouette in general. And nice arcs, like I said. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to leave it at that and stop. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.